Beantown. It's been here for over three decades, has several owners, but it's never been in the precarious situation financially that it's in now. David Bremer is the owner. You, uh, you make your own uh, quiche? The quiche is made here. And so are the pastries and burritos. But the place David Bremer calls the heart of Sierra Madre has taken more of a beating than most during the pandemic. COVID shut him down, and the recovery was very slow. So you were nailed like a lot of restaurants, yep. and a lot of coffee shops, and a lot of places like this. Yep, it hurt us. And then this. Fortunately, no one was hurt when an elderly woman driver backed into the front of his shop. He says it was an accident, but it was like a one-two punch that almost took him down for the count. The accident shut us down for 10 months. Um, in the middle of the reconstruction, the uh, contractor passed away. So that set us back further. Bremer says another of the contractors got COVID and he was out for three months. Life was slowly being drained from Beantown. We were down anywhere from $800 to $1,200 a day. A tough thing when the goal is $1,800 a day. The 60-year-old says he was planning to shut the place down two weeks ago. We were scheduled to close. We were done. We were going to be closing the doors, going bankrupt. Couldn't There's afford it anymore. No. But then Bremer says it's like the place got a shot of B12. I feel for them here. I really do. Customers like Amanda Rogers started coming back to get their coffee. And then there were new ones like Lena Vartan, who's happy knowing she's helping keep the business alive. It's kind of like a dark cloud has been, you know, over their heads. And it, it means a lot to be able to help. I'm very humbled by the people that have come in. Because he knows business life for Beantown is a daily struggle. If this thing doesn't work out, what does that do to you and your life? Well, we of course lose the business. We go to bank, go, to, go bankrupt, possibly go personally bankrupt. We could lose our house. But as we speak, David Bremer has community support and that's what he's counting on. And make no mistake, he's hopeful and has been uplifted by his customers and the community. Good luck. Thank you, sir. In Sierra Madre, Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.